Hello everybody. Now it's time for you to set up the perfect welcome message. Now I taught you everything you need to know about how to set it up. Now it's time for you to know how to actually apply it to your business because it works very different depending on what industry you are. However, you can actually sp split the welcome message in three core components in WhatsApp business that need to be present for it to work. The first one is you actually have to make a good first impression, of course. Second one is they're in step one because they already texted you. You gotta guide them through step two. What's the next step? You gotta set that up in your welcome message. And the third one is opportunity for future contact. That's a way you can set up a good opportunity for future contact during your welcome message. And I'm gonna teach you how. But before let's go over the four um, types of messages you can include for it to work. You can either ask, anticipate, give value or options. So actually when you guide people and anticipating um, message, this is, works way better if you're in an industry or a business where you know what people are gonna ask from you. Say you're a restaurant and you know that 99% of people who text you wanna order from you. They wanna see your menu or they wanna see your delivery. So you go right to the point, right? You don't, you don't go through the fluff, you ask them, hi, this is my business, would you like to order? Right to the point. It guides you, it guides the customer, and it also speeds up the process. The second one might be asking. If you're a broader, um, if you're in a broader in industry, say you're a real estate agent, people can really ask a lot of stuff from you. So you need to ask something broad. So you're good with, hello, welcome to my business, and thank you for your message. How can we help you today? It's clean, it's simple, it's very broad too, but it works well. If you're a broad business, set up a broad welcome message. It will work very good for you. And the third one is the one we actually use, which is giving value. This is good if you have something free to offer or you have a coupon. What you do is you, you put right in the welcome message. So you go like, thanks for contacting us. Today we have a special offer for you. Would you like to schedule an appointment? See, I offered something free to you. What we do is we offer our WhatsApp business guide. Depending on what industry you are, the three will make more sense. But there's one that actually applies to every industry that I came up browsing Instagram of all places. So I was in Instagram and I saw an ad from the World Health Organization. I clicked on it, it sent me to WhatsApp. And this is what it said. Welcome to the organization, here's information on the virus. And this is the important part. Please answer with a number or emoji on the latest information on the topic. So it's one, two, three, four, five, here's some emojis. And I send them a thumbs up and well, a little while later, they send me something about protection. And I was thinking, this might be very useful for businesses. Say you're browsing your messages, you get hundreds of messages a day. But once you see a thumbs up, you know, oh, that's quick reply number two. So you send that. As soon as you see hearts, that's quick reply number eight. And you send that. So it kind of speeds up the process, but it makes it seamless. It makes it faster. And you can actually guide people through your funnel uh, better and that I think you should use this but if any if, if any of these makes more sense well then use it like you know your business more than I do so choose right there's one thing that we haven't covered and it's opportunity you gotta set yourself up for opportunity um, for future contact in the, well in the future <laughs> future contact right so the way you do that is you need to absolutely ask people to save your contact number on their phone. This is um, because when you send broadcasts, people won't receive any broadcasts if they don't have you saved. So if they have your contact number saved on their phone, they will receive it. If they don't, the broadcast you send to a thousand people will reach nobody. So make sure you highlight it, make sure you put it between red emojis or something, and you actually let them know. And that's pretty much it. That's the, that's the steps to get a pretty good greeting message. A first impression, you gotta guide them from step one to step two, and you gotta set up opportunity for future contact. That's pretty much it. If you have any questions, please ask Diego or me. We'll be happy to help, and I hope this helps you out. See ya.